Hey, the PCS Life. It is Friday, which means I'm Kelsey. And as you know, this week we're talking about relationships. Um, so let's get to it. As for how it's affected my relationships, um, when I was first diagnosed with it, I was very um, depressed. And that definitely affected my family because I was living with them at the time at, uh, when I was in high school. Um, so that it was hard. And my family understood why I was depressed. And they were very, very supportive through it all. Um, so I was just depressed because of that. I had other issues too, which made me depressed, but PCOS has really contributed to that. Um, eventually I worked through that. Um, also I have anxiety or had anxiety because of PCOS. Um, currently I'm on a medication that treats both the depression and anxiety. Um, I've always been really, really, really shy um, even when I was really young. So to have anxiety, it wasn't really that big a deal. It kind of just got to a point where I actually decided I needed to do something about it. And the PCOS and my changes in my body shape and everything just didn't really help out with that, especially in large social settings. I just realized I liked having, even if I wasn't taking a lot of my medication, I just realized it really helped me, even if it was just a placebo effect, to know that there's something in me that let me be more outspoken and stuff. Um, so the depression, anxiety, those are the two main things I would say that affected my relationships, specifically my family. Because um, I never really was anxious around my friends and I didn't really show them my depression. Um, both of which I've worked out. Um, as for telling people about PCOS, um, I'm pretty open about it. I've always been because I feel like you need to spread the word because there's other um, people out there that don't even know they have it because I've been so outspoken about it. Actually, two of my friends have gone to the doctor and been diagnosed with it um, and have almost cured all their symptoms and made their life easier. So I think it's important to be open about it. Um, as well as in relationships, personal relationships, um, I've always told my significant other I've had it um, as a as an LGBT person, um, being infertile um, is a little different, I feel like, than being in a straight relationship just because um, I already have to go through the process of um, IVF and all um, implantation and things like that. So it wasn't that big of a deal for um, my significant other. She supports me. Um, and yeah, we just work through it. And I'm trying to think of other relationships. Um, I think that's about it. It's n I've never really been an angry per PCOS person. Um, just when I was depressed, um, I was kind of mean, I guess. Um, but that was more other issues, body issues, um, questioning my sexuality as soon as I came out. I wasn't depressed really anymore, and as soon as I started losing weight, I was even less depressed. So today, um, I don't think it affects my relationships at all. Um, I think if anything, um, I like talking about it a lot more than most people do, and so to me, it's not like a hush-hush topic or anything like that, so I don't really let it be an issue in any of my relationships. So uh, I think that's it for today. I got a new puppy. And she's down here eating. Hey. So, if you hear weird noises of crunching in the background, it's her, not me. Um, so, I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions or topics you guys want us to talk about, send them in. Because um, we'd love to talk about stuff that you want to hear. So, um, I guess that's it. Have a great week. Or a weekend.